Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to explain what is a test automation framework. Let me answer. Test automation framework is a supporting structure to create the test automation scripts on top of it. So let's get started. So what is a test automation framework? Test automation framework, test automation framework is a supporting structure. Okay, it's nothing but a supporting st structure. On top of it, you are going to create test automation scripts. On top of this supporting structure, okay, on top of this supporting structure known as automation framework, you are going to create the test automation script for several test cases. You are going to automate several test cases on top of the supporting structure, which is nothing but a test automation framework. Okay, let me explain exactly what is a test automation framework uh, with the real world example. Let's say you want to travel via flight. Okay. So to travel via flight, it's not just about uh, getting into the flight and uh, going to one location, right? There are a lot of things that are sur surrounded by this flight. You have to first book a ticket, right? For your online or by going to the airport or whatever it is, you have to book a ticket. A lot of people will book a ticket from the website. Okay, of several website, flight websites are there, or there are some, you know, centralized websites are there uh, where uh, different uh, flight you can book. Okay, flight company, flights from different companies you can book. So, first thing is booking a ticket. Booking a ticket is not enough. Okay, booking a ticket is not enough, right? Uh, there will be uh, like after you uh, go to the airport with the tickets and all, right? Uh, people have to check your ID proofs. Okay. For security purpose, they have to check your uh, ID proofs. And uh, after you go to the airport uh, and all right uh, to travel via the flight, okay, you have to go to the respective floor, okay, uh, the domestic or international, whatever it is, that uh, area you have to go. For that, uh, the airport people have to provide you a lot of uh, facilities like a lift uh, or, okay, there should be some uh, travel means where stairs, you have to take the stairs, escalator, and uh, you may be hungry, okay? So before you check into the board, into the flight, right? Okay, you have some time, but uh, you are kind of hungry. So, or you want to drink some, okay? Beverages like tea, coffee, etc. Or uh, you want to drink some, eat some biscuits or, you know, have some food or several options will be there, okay? Food options, food and drink options provided okay at the airport there will be a launch facility airport launch facility you can go into that launch and have something it's not just about traveling right when you are traveling you can do a lot of stuff okay? a lot of things are required okay and after going there uh, you have to get boarding pass boarding pass and uh, okay the real boarding pass you will get after going going into the airport okay you have to give all the details uh, tickets and all and they have to check your ID proofs and they finally will give you the boarding pass. And not only that, uh, security check will be there. Okay, there will be a security check. Baggage collection will be there. A lot of facilities, you see. Baggage uh, collection. And you may uh, you may take your uh, small luggage into the flight itself. And uh, in the flight, again, they will serve you some food. Serve you some food and drinks in the flight. There will be a pilot who will be driving, okay, for you, and uh, you know there will be air hostess who will be helping you out, okay. Like that, many things, okay. It's not just traveling, okay. You see, traveling is uh, traveling by flight is not enough, right? A lot of supportive system should be there. This supported structure that is created around this uh, flight traveling, we can call that as a framework, okay. You see the airport framework. This is the airport framework uh, using which you can travel by the desired flight so in the real world this is what is a framework which is supporting the supporting you to efficiently travel via flight okay by following this framework you will get a lot of frameworks a lot of benefits okay uh, the time will be saved uh, confusion will be reduced okay and a um, uh, lot of things a lot of benefits will be there okay if without this framework, what will happen if you still have to travel via flight without this framework, a lot of uh, loss will be there. That is the security problem will be there, 
right? Anyone can enter into the flight and uh, that is a security problem. And if no one is checking and uh, everyone, uh, if someone is uh, uh, taking with them some harmful items into the flight, that is again a problem for everyone, okay? Some things may explode uh, and all those stuff, okay? So without framework, traveling via flight is possible, but uh, that is not secure. That is not efficient. That means a lot of uh, time taking process will be there. You may miss the flight, right? They will announce uh, things, okay? If someone is late, they'll announce, they'll arrange a bus and all the stuff. The framework is not there. Traveling via flight is uh, will take time, hectic, confusing, and non-secure kind of stuff. These are the benefits you are getting if you follow this framework while traveling via flight. The same way, when you are automating some test cases, okay, uh, without this framework, then the problem here is it will take a lot of time, time taking, okay, the to, uh, time taken to create the automation scripts will be more, maintenance will be high, maintenance will be high, I'll explain more, so maintenance will be high, and uh, what else, what problems we have, there will be no reusability or that uh, best practices are not followed, and uh, uh, then finally, it, it is not going to not efficient, okay? Not going to be efficient way of uh, writing the automation scripts or running them. Uh, no proper reports will be generated. A lot of disadvantages are there if you are not going to use a framework or the supporting structure for creating the test automation scripts. Without the, like the same way the flight without framework, what the problems you will face, right? The similar kind of problems you will face, okay? When you, uh, automate the test automations uh, when you automate some test cases without having this kind of supporting structure like test automation framework. That's why we need to have a test automation framework in place so that, okay, it will be more efficient and we'll get a lot of benefits out of it. So I'll explain more about this. First, understand what is a test automation framework. It is like a supporting structure to create the test automation scripts on top of it. Okay, there's a simple line to explain what is a test automation framework to anyone. And uh, to explain in detail, like to add more points to whatever the, this particular line, right? This line you already understood just now and uh, what is the supporting structure and all. What are the problems without having a supporting structure to create the automation scripts and all you understood now. But now let's ex uh, let's explore this uh, test automation framework in a detailed manner. So you can also see that in addition, addition to the above, you can say that it is a combination of how, how this structure, supporting structure will be created. It, uh, supporting structure is nothing but a combination of tools or libraries and practices, okay? The supporting structure in framework is created with the help of tools, okay? We have tools libraries to be used together along with the, along with that, we have to follow some practices, okay? Without following these practices, you know, you will not, you will not, it will auto, uh, creating automation scripts or running automation scripts will not be efficient and time, uh, it will be time taking also. So what are these uh, tools or libraries practices? So I'm saying that the supporting structure, which is an automation framework is a combination of tools, libraries. You can either call them as tools or libraries and practices, okay? It's a combination, it's a group of, which help in creating the test automation scripts efficiently, okay? In an efficient manner by saving time and reducing maintenance, okay? We are going to create the test automation scheme in an efficient way, okay? By saving time and reducing maintenance, okay? So, I'll explain more about this. So tools libraries, for example, here tools libraries are there. What are the different tools libraries uh, to be used uh, as a combination to create this uh, supporting structure? For example, if you are automating using Selenium automation tool, Selenium tool is there, okay? For unit testing framework is required, okay? If you go for Selenium, Java, right? Test uh, unit testing framework we generally use or uh, JUnit unit testing framework we'll use. And different based on different programming languages, we have to use different uh, Frameworks in Python, you have to use PyTest and all. In Java, you have to use a test engine, JUnit, etc., like that. So this this unit testing uh, framework is like a backbone for the test automation frameworks to create the supporting structure. Apart from the automation tool, we should have a proper unit testing framework, and uh, we should have a lot of other libraries for uh, different performing different stuff and to make the framework a kind of advanced and uh, you know to enhance the framework. We need a lot of libraries, not only Selenium library and unit testing libraries and all, but more libraries are required, like for libraries for reading from the Excel files, logging purpose, okay? Like that many libraries are required. Many libraries are required, okay? 
So for PDD, we, we need Cucumber libraries, like many libraries are required. So reading from Excel files, JSON files, and any other, whatever the kind of enhancement that you want to create that supporting structure, okay? So that much good your framework will be. And uh, for that to happen, we need a group of libraries, okay? Different libraries. We need libraries for reporting purpose and so on. Many libraries are required, okay? Based on the requirement, we need many libraries in our framework. And apart from these tools or libraries, right, we also need to follow some practices like uh, object. these are not libraries, but they are practices, object repos repositories. That means we are not going to hard code the locators uh, required for identifying the elements on the web pages uh, in the, okay, yeah, in the individual test, uh, test scripts, we are not going to mention this object uh, locators. Rather, we are going to centralize the locators in the object repositories. Then coding standards, we have to follow some good coding standards while writing the automation scripts and uh, removing the hard coded uh, data from the test. Okay, like URL of the application, the credentials like username, password, the browser name, etc. Ne need to be removed from the individual automation scripts and they need to be centralized at some location in the framework. Okay, if you don't centralize and you don't remove this hard coding, what will happen? If the tomorrow the URL changes, you have to go to that 100 automation scripts. If, for example, there are 100 test automation scripts, you have to go to each and every of that 100 automation scripts and update the URL manually. That will increase the maintenance, okay? With the help of framework, uh, we'll remove the, we'll centralize this kind of hard-coded data and uh, remove the hard-coded data and centralize it so that the maintenance will be reduced. Even object repository also will reduce the maintenance and centralize the things. And test data handling from different type of files. Okay, if you want to read the or read the data or write the data from from to and from the files, then we need some libraries. Uh, like uh, some libraries are required. Anyhow, apart from that, we need to follow this kind of practice of you know reading instead of providing the data in the individual test methods. We are going to read a part from a particular file so that tomorrow, if you have to update the data, you don't have to touch these automation scripts. Simply, you will go to that uh, files like Excel files or whatever it is and update the data there and automation scripts will read the data from these files. Such kind of practices we will follow so that the test automation scripts will be efficiently, okay? The creation of the scripts will be eff efficient uh, and they will save your time, right? So if maintenance is reduced, automatically the time will be saved. Lot of stuff. <clears throat> Reusable components. As part of practices, uh, we should not repeat the things here and there. Okay, we have to reduce the need for repetition. Okay, and by creating some methods, functions, and all. Okay, for different things, we have to create some reusable methods and all and call them whenever we need. Instead of writing the same code again and again in every automation script, we'll create a reusable method for that and call that method whenever that is required. Such way, right, uh, <clears throat> it will be very efficient. Uh, number of lines will be reduced. Uh, time taken for writing the scripts will be reduced or running the scripts will be reduced. Maintenance will be reduced because you are going to update the things from a centralized location and all those stuff. So this is what is the framework in depth. But if you have to simply mention what is the framework, you can say that it is supportive structure to create test automation scripts on top of it. That is nothing but a test automation framework. And on the top of that test automation framework, this supporting structure is created with a combination of tools, libraries, and practices that I mentioned here, which help us in creating the test automation scripts in an efficient manner by saving time and reducing maintenance and many more benefits. So this is what is a test automation framework in simple terms. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.